Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us for tonight's unusual programme. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. <laughs> As subscribers will know from our review of Robo Vampire, you don't go into a Godfrey Ho film expecting a lucid plot. Master, please tell me what all this is about. But Scorpion Thunderbolt holds together surprisingly well, considering that it's edited together from two different films with added footage of Richard Harrison. It's certainly more watchable than Robo Vampire largely because its primary source, Grudge of the Sleepwalking Woman, is as mad as a Taiwanese witch. <laughs> we open intercutting between witchcraft, the main purpose of which seems to be to blow a light bulb, a monstrous chase ending in death, and a blind one-handed recorder recital. And if that doesn't grab you, try the police station, decorated with pictures from the Chinese joy of sex. And now there's this latest victim who's just been brought in. This is not the first of these gruesome murders. People are now complaining that the police are all totally in covenant clouds. It's my hiring policy and I stand by it. What's more, some people are saying the police are useless. Incompetent clods I accept, but useless? It's not like we don't know who we're looking for. According to my theory, it looks like this. Another thing I love here is that the man in charge of the dubbing hired one Cockney voice artist. Inspector, should we knock the door down, eh? Meanwhile, star Richard Harrison makes his entrance, picking up a girl who gets the Dark Corners Claudette Colbert Award for innovation in hitchhiking. And if you got that reference, it's because you're awesome. I don't like to see people standing in the rain. Yeah, that's why I stopped. Quickly, come in from the boobs. I mean rain. I've got to admit, you've got fucking talent. Shenanigans ensue. Join us on Patreon to see the uncensored version. You've convinced me. But... Who'd have thought the stranger flashing her tits wasn't on the level? Oh my God! Who sent you? Doc! Back at the other plot, Inspector Co gets an unexpected visitor. It's me! But, and this is embarrassing... You don't know me? Maybe a flashback will jog your memory. Inspector Co! I'll kill you for this one day! It's you. I feel like I'd have remembered the man who threatened to kill me, but... Whoever he is, he's back for revenge. Have some coffee. My gold blend! Captain! The ensuing fight is watched by three girls who seem to have a separate story all of their own. You know her boyfriend's killer. Has he been caught yet? It wasn't murder, it was a boxing match. A boxing match? Hmm. And which is cut quite short. I'll take a bath. And speaking of random scenes... Mm. This is what happened in that billiards room in Cluedo. The crime reintroduces Co to reporter Helen. Mm, you're a naughty girl. But their romance is interrupted by a low-budget snakes on a plane. Were you scared? No, I'm not. And say what you like about that movie, they did at least notice the snakes. Keep clear of horny girls. <laughs> Also, in this case, they do seem to be literally on the car. <laughs> oh, they're both fine. You called about repairing a leaky pipe? That's right. In the bathroom. Meanwhile, Harrison continues to fend off assassins. <laughs> who might be better able to get the drop on him if they weren't all wearing the same top. They want his ring. Give me your ring. And he seeks advice. 
About two miles north of here lives a witch. It's really dragging down local house prices. Only this ring can destroy her magical powers. And yet... You must take this golden sword and mystical mirror. Available for purchase in the gift shop. This is no time to joke. So, Harrison can stop the witch who has been summoning the monster, drawing the plot lines together. Be careful of the monster. Well, that's just good advice. But what about the monster itself? I'm not a human being. I'm a snake demon. This doesn't come as a big surprise. They foreshadowed it well. But the backstory is brilliant. A long time ago, there lived a family of snake killers. Doesn't every fairy tale start that way? Why have you killed so many snakes? But the snake killer's daughter falls in love with the Prince of Snakes. Sexy times ensue. <laughs> with inevitable results. The child is Helen, making me question that whole long time ago, but not my biggest question in this movie. He's a blind night watchman who has overcome gout and arthritis. Like I said, it's mad, but unfortunately it now gets bogged down in tragic romance. I've killed so many people! <laughs> which you'd think would be a deal breaker. I love you. I'll do anything for you. We get some flying snake demon action. But it's all very drawn out, especially when you consider that the end is inevitable. And so, with literally nothing to play for, Harrison takes on the witch. who must have an exceptionally long driveway based on the light change between his arriving at her gates and getting to her house. I say takes on, but these scenes were shot years apart, so he just does some magic to the music of Indiana Jones. Coming, coming! Then strikes a heroic pose as if he saved the day. I can't defend this movie. It's terrible. It's a hatchet job. But for the first hour at least, it is mad enough to be enjoyable. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Godfrey Ho has 150 directorial credits on IMDb, 51 of which have the word ninja in the title. What other directors found what they liked and stuck with it? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> what an idiot.